Good morning. Today, I'm with mom and dad again. Hello. Hello. <laughs> There's dad. <laughs> and we are doing something that we have never done before. We are going to breakfast at Trails End, which is located here at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. And oh my gosh, there's a puddle. We have to cut across some, <laughs> this is truly an adventure this morning. Yes, we're going to Trails End, which that is located here at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. Last time I was over here was for the hoop de doo review. I can link that video. That was a lot of fun. But yeah, we are going to Trails End for breakfast this morning, somewhere that we have never been before. So I mentioned this in my Hoop to Do vlog, but when you're coming to Fort Wilderness, if you're going to Hoop to Do or Trails End or anything, you have to, you come and park here. It's kind of different if you're taking like a Disney bus, like from your resort or something. But if you're parking here, you have to leave yourself time to park and then you have to catch a bus. So give yourself enough time because depending on just how the buses are running, you want to give yourself that leeway of like, you know, an extra half hour or maybe a little bit more to, you know, get up to settlement. We're looking, this is so cool. So the people that come and stay here, they can like drive their golf cart to the bus stop here. And then they have all this golf cart parking and then you can get on the bus to go wherever you're going for the day. So they have a bunch of like, these are the ones that you can just rent here at Disney, these golf carts. Oh look, somebody's celebrating their 70th birthday. That's exciting. They put, they decorated with little 70 banners, but this one right here, these people must be ones that they come and they stay for a couple months because they have their own custom golf cart and it's Tomater. I love this. I actually saw this when I was here, when was that? Back in July for Hoop De Doo. And so yeah, this family's still here with their Tomater golf cart and I love this. Also from here, you can see the horses over there. And we were saying if we have time today, we want to go explore that Tricircle D ranch that they have here because I've never done that before. Look at the horses, so cute. I just realized, have you guys ever been here before? No. Like in general to Fort Wilderness? No. Oh my gosh. Maybe years ago? Wait, I know. Wait, we're, so we uh, ate at the, no, we never ate You never ate at Hoop De Doo. Okay, so you would have been here when you were little. I know, we were going to, but we didn't. So this is your first time. And your first time in many years even to come to Fort Wilderness. And our bus is here for the one that takes us to Settlement. That's where we want to go to. And that one also goes there too. So there's two different routes. So we could take, either one gets us to Settlement. We just got off the bus and we were heading up to Trails End is located like just past, this is actually Pioneer Hall where you go for Hoop De Doo. So it's very close to where you have the bus drop show off right there. This is the Settlement Depot stop. And then we are heading up to go have our breakfast. We were cracking up on the bus because they were like making all the stops that they make along the way to then get up here and they stop at like all the different various campsites and everything and the names of the like roads were cracking us up. There was um, Possum, Possum Path, that was one of our favorites, um, Quail Trail was another one, Tumbleweed Turn, They're, they were so cute. Jackrabbit Run. Jackrabbit Run. <laughs> We were just like, they would make the announcement where we were and we were just cracking up. It was so fun. But that's something for both Halloween and then for Christmas time, we want to come and do the thing where you can rent a golf cart and go around and look at the decorations that everyone has on their campsites. Because I just love that it's not like, Disney didn't put up those decorations. It's like the actual guests who are staying here. A lot of people come to Fort Wilderness and they'll stay for months at a time. It's really cool. It's a cool like little community over here. So it's all put on by them. Like they decorate their campsite and everything. So that's been something on our list that we really want to do. So probably closer to Halloween and then definitely for Christmas, we want to come and check all that out. Also, if you would like to plan your visit here to Walt Disney World, please contact my friends over at 407 and Beyond Vacation Company. They are such an incredibly talented team of travel professionals. They can get you all sorted out with your accommodations, park tickets, everything. That way you can just relax and enjoy your vacation. You can get started with a free no obligation quote anytime at 407vacations.com. But yeah, here we are right now. We just walked up to Trails End. So we were just relaxing here on the porch and we just got the text message that our table is ready. Also, they have this Crockett's Tavern I wanna check out sometime. Oh my gosh, it's so cute in here. I love it. This is my first time ever being in here. I've never eaten here before. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, look, they have the special 50th like paper. Oh, the details, I appreciate it. But 
they just brought out, this is the first course that we get, which is the pastry basket. We have a bunch of delicious things here. And then this like looks like strawberry whipped um, compote that goes with it. Yeah, butter type thing that looks amazing. So this is our first thing. Okay, we'll dig in now. <laughs> and our waitress just came over and said that drinks are also included. We weren't sure about that, but yeah, you can get juices, coffee, um, teas, any type of um, soda products, anything is all complimentary as well, which is very, very nice. So yeah, this meal, I don't know if I mentioned yet, it is served family style. They just keep bringing it out to you, like with the skillets and everything, and it's as much as you care to enjoy. You can ask for more of any particular thing that you want. Sounds like it's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna do one of these like little Danishes. I did a cinnamon this, bun. Oh, it's a cinnamon bun, that's what it is. It is it good? <laughs> it's in the middle of it. <laughs> Like oh, okay. And I want to try it with this too. So our beverages just came out. I went with the, do you have the tropical juice here? Which I believe this is going to be the same thing like they have at Ohana that we all love. That it's the pineapple, passion fruit, mango, uh, guava, thank you. The pog juice, that's what it is. Yeah, or the jungle juice, is that the same it's thing? It's the same thing, yes. It's the same thing that they have at Animal Kingdom Lodge, Animal the Jamba, and then, yes, it's this special pog juice, which has passion fruit, orange, and guava. That's what it is, so it's the tropical juice. So they do have that here, and then I got a coffee, of course. And it's really nice, she asked me if I want a cream, and they bring you like the fresh cream, so nice. And mom and dad got some tea over there. <laughs> I just love that it's in mason jars. That's so cute. Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! Ding. So our next course just arrived. They brought us out yogurt parfaits that has strawberry, blueberry, and granola. So the main course has arrived. So we have a skillet with cheesy eggs. We have sausage, bacon. There's like a cheesy casserole thing that they said. Um, Mickey waffles. Look at this. This is amazing. Like we keep saying, for the value of what we paid, like this is incredible. I have discovered my favorite thing ever is putting this, the compote that they give you, this like strawberry whip butter, putting that on a Mickey waffle is life changing. Absolutely life changing. That is what I've discovered during this meal. But yeah, this is incredible. We're working through our skillet here. Everything has been so good. This is a hidden gem for sure. It's been a really delicious breakfast. Yeah. I, love I know you love all the breakfast foods. Yes, this is incredible. Okay, so we just left breakfast. That was honestly one of the best Disney breakfasts that I've had in a very long time. That was amazing. Did you like it? I loved it. It yeah. was so good. Everything was delicious. It was just like, and the fact that it's family style, you can keep asking for more of anything you want. It was such a good value for your money. It came to like right around $20 a person after taxes, but then we did get our annual pass holder discount. Um, I think it was like 10% or right. something there. Yeah, so that was really good. We will definitely be back there for sure. And it's just like, this right now is such a nice little morning out because now we can walk around Fort Wilderness, hang out, someplace that you Beautiful haven't been book. before. That, what is that, Bay Lake? Or yeah, this is Bay Lake that we get to see right here. You can take the boats from here over to Magic Kingdom. It's incredible. It's cool seeing all the people like in their golf carts too that are staying here. Oh yeah, look at that. It's so nice. Like I feel like this staying here would truly then be like another vacation within your vacation. Like you get the whole camping feel and it feels like a little community over here. It's really cool. So now we're going into the Settlement Trading Post, which is their gift shop here. And I remember this gift shop is so cool because in addition to like all the Disney merch and everything, they have like you can buy firewood and just like anything you might need for your campsite. Oh no, is it closed? Oh, it opens at 11. What time is it? Three minutes. Three minutes, okay. Well, we're gonna literally rope drop, <laughs> rope drop in the Settlement Trading Post. So right here, this is like, they have all this golf cart parking because the boat dock is right over here. So if you were staying here and you were heading to, oh my gosh, wait, stop, stop this thought. There's a dog on a golf cart and it's the best thing ever. <laughs> Back to my thought, but that was very important. I had to show that. So if you were staying here and you were going to Magic Kingdom for the day, you would park your golf cart here because then the boat docks right there and you can take the boat over to Magic Kingdom, which is really nice. I think it's cool seeing the people that decorate their golf carts, which would make a lot of sense because you see how they all look alike. So then you can easily identify after your whole day in Magic Kingdom, oh, this one's mine. They have it all decorated for fall. It's really cool. When I was here with uh, my friend Alyssa and her family, they were the people I went to Hoopty Doo with, we were out here on this beach and right down here, oh my gosh, there's doggies walking. But right down here we saw deer, like a whole family of deer. It was so cool. 
<laughs> Dad's recreating the photo we have of Kyle, my cousin, with this. I know, look at the doggies. They're so cute. Oh, I love that this is a pet friendly resort. That's just amazing. It's so peaceful right now. We're just walking around. We're walking down the boat dock, just enjoying our morning out now, walking off our breakfast. <laughs> we have to walk off our breakfast. See the tops of the Grand Floridian? You see that, Mom? Because yeah, the boats go that way to then that connects over into Seven Seas Lagoon. So here, let me just spew out my Disney knowledge like I like to do. <laughs> So the two bodies of water that are in the Magic Kingdom Resort area, it's Bay Lake and then Seven Seas Lagoon. So Bay Lake is a natural, natural man-made? No. <laughs> Bay Lake is a natural lake, God-created lake, that has been here in Florida since the dawn of time, and that is where we are at right now. Fort Wilderness and Wilderness Lodge are located on Bay Lake, and the backside of Contemporary um, connects to Bay Lake. But then you have that little canal there that goes through and leads to Seven Seas Lagoon. And that is where you will find, it's like the front of Contemporary, Polynesian, Grand Floridian, and then Magic Kingdom. That body of water is Seven Seas Lagoon, which fun fact was actually Disney created. That was a man-made lagoon that they made there in front of Magic Kingdom. Miss Knowledge. Miss Knowledge, yes, mom. Okay, so you see the Contemporary. Yes. What is that stretch of buildings over there is that part of Disney? Park? Oh my gosh, wait, is that, that Tron? And I'm like, what is that? I feel like that's the back of the Tron building. Really? Unless would that be like over to like Disney University and the places that are back behind Magic Kingdom, like service buildings? Or... I didn't catch that on film. Mom's like, would that be Guardians? But no, that's obviously that's Epcot. Course. I know. <laughs> but you can see, like, past this island here, there's the Contemporary. That's actually Bay Lake Tower at the top of it. But yeah, if I slowly turn, it's probably kind of shaky. But look. That building, that's the building in question we're looking at. I feel like that could be the Tron building. There goes a gator patrol boat. The patrol people out on the lake. <laughs> okay, and now it's past 11 o'clock. The settlement trading post is now open. Oh, they have so much doggy stuff because it's like a dog friendly resort. I love that. Oh, this is the one that I said Mickey needs. This is what he has the one that you got him from the outlet, but he doesn't have this one yet. And think his food could go in one ear and his water on another ear. It's that nice silicone material, so I'll clean up well. one <laughs> ear. We have an exciting announcement about Mickey soon. We'll be making that. I haven't made that yet, but soon. <laughs> Speaking of Mickey, I have not seen this before, but it's a cat. I assume it's a cat toy. This is like one of those burrow toys, but I think it's for a cat because like the grapes and stuff, it's crinkly. <laughs> Isn't that so fun? And it's like a wheel of cheese. That's amazing. What does it say on there? Does it say for cats? I guess cats or dogs could have it, but I, I really want to get it for Mickey. <laughs> he would now play with that. <laughs> this would last for a second. A second, and then he'd be like, I'm done. I know. That's just so cute. I love it. I don't see that one as often. I feel like I've seen that before and I remember thinking it's adorable. We now do have the 30% off as pass holders. Oh, that is soft. That'd be good going into the fall months soon. Not yet, because it's still very hot here, but soon it will be the fall months. Oh, that's cool. Some of these things I have not seen other places. They got good merch in here. You know, these little resort type mm -hmm. shops are the best. Type. Off the beaten path. It's so true. Yeah, like that's different. Radiate happiness. I like that. I haven't seen some of these before. This is also different as part of the 50th collection. I hadn't seen this. That it's just like a plain gray tee. But then like on the arm here, it has in the iridescence Walt Disney World 50th. And it's like a ringer tee style. That's really cute. And this is where they then just have like random like things that you would need for camping like a little grocery section then they have over here extension cords they have um toilet paper they have your charcoal down there so 
So we're walking around and from here where we're standing, like we just came out of, there was the settlement outpost shop. You can see Wilderness Lodge and I believe there is still a way that you can walk from here at Fort Wilderness over to Wilderness Lodge. Um, but like looking at where it's at, it's ways away. So that would be a very, very far walk. The whole way that we, from the parking lot up to here, you can walk all that, but it would be like a whole day event. Like you don't realize the sheer size of this place, just how massive it is. And the crazy thing too, like we took the bus from the parking lot up here to settlement. There's also three other routes. Like there's three routes that go from that parking lot to settlement, but they all go different directions because it's so wide as well. One goes like straight down the middle, one goes this way, this way. Like it's crazy just trying to describe like how big this all is but i love it here like it's so relaxing it's really that vacation within a vacation vibe when you're here so that i want to just explore all of it more and get to know every part of fort wilderness one day i would like to stay here probably in like an rv i don't think i'd want to like camp on you know a tent on the ground but <laughs> i'd like to do like the rv trip here i think that'd be really fun glamping as they call it give me one of the cabins, cabins yeah or a cabin yeah they have the cabins here as well i'd like a cabin yeah, if you didn't know, Fort Wilderness, they have actual campsites, like people bring tents and everything, and you literally, you just rent the space to then have to, you know, you put up your tent, you camp, you do the whole experience. Um, then they also have cabins that you can rent, which looks super cute. And then they also have spots that you can like bring a camper or an RV if you want to do that as an option. So it's really cool. It's like such a mix of different accommodations you have around here, like different types of vacations. It's really cool. So before we have to head out, we want to take a little peek up here somewhere I have not been here and been wanting to go for the longest time, the Tricircle D Ranch. So this is where they have the horses and you can go in and like see them in their, like their accommodations, which look so fancy. Like this looks like the nicest horse stable ever. I heard ever. they have it, I think, air conditioned. Yes. And, I mean, they're living the life over they're here. They're living the life over here. You also can do, I really want to do this, you can come and do trail rides but I would love there's to do that. That would be so cool. Yes, there's the pony rides for kids and then yeah, anyone can come and do these trail rides and that would be so fun. I would love to do a vlog of that. I love horses. I, you guys know I love any animal. So this is right up my alley. And there's the ranch right here. So for a little bit of like wayfinding, this was where the bus dropped us off. Um, this is the settlement stop and we went that way to go to the restaurants and everything. But yeah, if you then walk from the bus stop right across the way here, this is the Tricircle D Ranch. This is so nice, look at this. And they had redone this like just about a year or so ago and made it even fancier. Oh, look, there's one of the pony rides. Oh, they're doing the pony rides. Look at this. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, they have their own like cast member name tags. Hi, honey. It's a Clydesdale. This is Skylar. Hi, Skylar. Oh, you are stunning. And this is Rookie. Oh, he's sleep standing up with his little head against the wall. Hi, Rookie. Goodness. Greedy is just passed out in there sleeping. <laughs> So sweet. Oh, that's so sweet. My horse is soft. This is my horse is soft. Oh. So here, this is the pricing for the pony rides. For you can do one lap around for eight dollars or two laps around for twelve dollars. That is really reasonable. That's awesome. So yeah, if you have kids that would love to do a pony ride, come over here. This is really cool. I have such a nice little space back here. Oh, look, this is the wedding harness room. This is for like the Cinderella's carriage. They get the horse. Oh, look at all the horses. Like this just goes back. Wow. This is like all the horses on Disney property live here. That's crazy to think about. Aww. Disney and horses. Oh, they have a whole like museum over here. Oh, how cool. Look, they have, these are like from Disneyland, like Walt with the horses in the park. I saw one that was called that, Hershon? Hershon, I think that's how you say it. And then there's the Clydesdale and the Belgian. Then they have like the horses in the parks and 
Look, they have, these are like the little, once the ponies get a little bigger, they become the Cinderella carriage ponies. There's like, I've done before the carriage rides at Port Orleans Resort. There's one of those. It's so cool. So we're talking about, they have all these construction walls up. This was, they were supposed to be in what was the abandoned river country, which that has a whole bunch of Disney history behind it. That was located like right around here. They were supposed to be putting the Reflections Lakeside Resort, which has since been scrapped um, by Disney, but they just have now, this is just like a big construction site. So I wonder, probably maybe no time in the near future, but it would be nice to see them put something there. And I wonder what would go there. And they do have, it's interesting, they have a bus, this one says Wilderness Lodge, so there is like internal buses that would go between Fort Wilderness and Wilderness Lodge, which is good to know. And we are now heading back to the parking lot, the depot, and we're on the same exact bus, the Olaf bus. It's gonna take us back. So we just got off the bus back here at the outpost stop. This is the parking lot again, but this is where they have the Tri-Sobility Ranch, the other location for it, where they have you do the trail rides. Right here. So. Okay, so now we are going to head back to the apartment, but this was such a fun little morning. It was like, a very nice over here. Yeah. yeah. You I'll could spend a whole half back. a day or even a day over here. Oh my gosh, everything. you could definitely do a whole day. Like, yeah, have a meal here and just like going around seeing the horses like that. Like, we definitely, rent a you golf know, cart. yeah, we're kind of just here for the morning, but like, I'd love to do a whole day, come back, rent a golf cart, and especially if we want to do that for closer for Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. Well, I'm sure some people, and Christmas. Some people probably already have decorations, I would imagine, probably. right now. That we're in like the middle of September, but yeah, closer to Halloween, definitely we want to come get a golf cart and like tour and see everybody's campsites, how they're decorated, but then especially for Christmas, because we love Christmas. So that's gonna be fun. These are like all the things like that I always dreamed of living here that we're gonna get to like do just these random off the beaten so path things. That we, you don't have time when you're on like, vacation. Go, go, going into the park on a vacation. <laughs> yeah, so this was amazing, but thank you guys for watching. Please like the video, leave me some comments below. Those things go very far away in helping to support me in the channel. And with that, Make today magical, or as Katie would say, magical, magical. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. Bye. Bye. <laughs>